Here she is, Care Daily TV. What can I say? When the word on the street that the next group clamoring to join the repeal the Eighth Amendment is actually farmers for choice, then we really know the tide is turning. And turning it is the move to repeal the Eighth Amendment, the biggest barrier to the delivery of abortion rights in this country has now become an unstoppable force. And we're here today to bring Ireland's abortion home. To bring it home to the discredited and out of touch political establishment that over 170,000 Irish mothers Daughters, partners, friends who've been forced out of this country to access abortion will not have their narratives silenced any longer. <laughs> to bring home this routine medical service needed by thousands of Irish women every year, which we shouldn't have to travel for. We're here to say, no more will we be cast out to protect a lie that there is no Irish abortion. <laughs> the days of secrecy and shame, of the Magdalene laundries and the mother and baby homes belong to a different Ireland. An Ireland that we want no part of except to say sorry. Now, I think it's fair to say that on other occasions when we mobilized on these streets, it was often in response to horrendous tragedies that devastated the lives of individual women because of the lack of our abortion legislation. Miss X, Miss Y, Miss D, Savita. They were days when we were sad and when we were mad. But today, even though we're still mad, it's definitely not one of those days. Today is a day of pride, a day of confidence, a day when we reclaim this country for the women of Ireland. <laughs> now, Gandhi once said that the future depends on what you do today. Well, that's very good news because today you state your claim for an open, tolerant, humane future. You sent a signal for the type of Ireland that you want to see as we approach 10, 2016. An Ireland which respects women's lives, health and choices. And that is certainly something worth fighting for. <laughs> Friends, in conclusion, You've done a very good thing by being here today, but it's not enough. We're on the eve of a general election. Go from here. Let every politician, let every political party know that they either agree to allow the people to remove the Eighth Amendment or the people will have no hesitation in removing them. <laughs> any longer. Women's bodies and health don't belong in the Constitution and they never did. We're not going to wait until the men in suits sit around and decide what happens next after appeal. What happens next is exactly what happens in other areas of our health. We decide in privacy, in conjunction with our doctors. Today be the beginning of
of the end of the battles. Go back to your students union, your trade union, your community organization, your IFA branch. Get back and organize the campaign for the repeal the Eighth Amendment. It's quite clear from today that the People's Army is on the march. This is a march for choice. And we're stamping our authority that it's good for society when women decide when and how we can have children. That's good for everyone. So do it for your children. Let's carve out a better Ireland of tolerance, humanity and choice. Well done, everyone. <laughs>